Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at WebArcade running on the iOS operating system, which is used by iPhones and iPads. If you're new to WebArcade, you'll probably want to refer to the About portion of the WebArcade documentation, or watch the beginning of the WebArcade Overview and Walkthrough video. In terms of a quick introduction, WebArcade runs entirely within the context of the browser, using technologies like JavaScript and WebAssembly. The WebArcade Adaptive Front End provides compatibility with a large number of devices and platforms, which include Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and the Xbox Series XS gaming consoles. Finally, all of the gaming content and artwork present in WebArcade is driven by user-definable cloud-based feeds. We're currently viewing the WebArcade homepage. You can get to it by navigating to the address webarcade.com. That's web, the letter R, cade, C-A-D-E, dot com. It's also worth noting that I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus for this video, which even at the time of this recording is quite old. However, it is fully capable of running all of the currently supported applications or emulators at full speed. Prior to jumping into the Web Arcade front end, we're going to go ahead and pair an Xbox One controller via Bluetooth with the iPhone. To do that, let's first launch Settings, then select the Bluetooth item on the left. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled, and then place your gamepad in pairing mode. Your gamepad should now appear in the Other Devices section. Click on the name of the gamepad to initiate the pairing process. At this point, go ahead and click Pair, and the gamepad will be paired with the iOS device. The next thing we're going to do is disable the capture screenshots and video clips hot buttons for the gamepad. These interfere with the typical select, start, and show pause screen actions used by the WebArcade emulators and applications. You can choose to use the alternate button sequences for these actions if you want to leave capture enabled. To disable capture, let's start by going to the general section within settings. Then select the game controller section on the right. The game controller section contains a scrollable list of all the controllers that are currently paired with the iOS device. At this point, we'll go ahead and disable the capture screenshots and capture video clips options for the Xbox controller that we just paired. Now let's go ahead and launch Safari, which is the recommended browser for Web Arcade on iOS devices. At this point, let's go ahead and click the play button to launch the Web Arcade front end. The first time Web Arcade is launched, the default feed will be loaded. The default feed contains high quality, publicly available games and demos across popular systems from Atari, Nintendo, and Sega. I'm currently navigating the front end using the Xbox controller, however touch navigation is also supported. At this point, let's go ahead and add Web Arcade to the iPhone's home screen. In addition to this being more convenient, it also provides more vertical space when playing games. To do this, tap the Action or Share button that's located directly to the right of the URL. It looks like a box with an arrow pointing out of the top of it. Then scroll and select the Add to Home Screen option. Once prompted, click the Add button. At this point, WebArcade has been added to the home screen. Go ahead and tap it to launch WebArcade in full screen mode. At this point, let's go ahead and select the Sega Genesis category. Let's play Omega Blast for the Sega Genesis. It's an excellent homebrew shmup by Nendo. Unfortunately, we have to tap the screen to unmute the audio. On macOS, there's an option to enable autoplay. Hopefully they add that to iOS in the future. As you can see, this is a really fun and fast shooter. Like some other homebrew shooters, the goal is to score as many points as possible within a two minute time frame, assuming you can last that long. At this point, let's go ahead and exit back to the Web Arcade front end. We can display the pause screen with the Xbox controller by holding down the X button and then pressing the View button. Let's go ahead and add a new Web Arcade feed to the front end. To do this, we first return to the Categories view. And then we go to the Feeds view. Go ahead and select the Add Feed thumbnail and then click on the Add button. Let's go ahead and enter the URL for the example feed, this part of the Web Arcade documentation. Mm -hmm. 
Select the OK button to register and load the feed. The example feed is relatively simple, containing only two categories, organized by genre. It's worth noting that for the example feed, the ROM files are hosted in a free Dropbox account, the images are hosted in Imager, and the feed document itself is hosted in Pastebin. Before ending this video, let's take a quick look at the WebArcade iOS documentation. Once at the documentation, select the Platforms tab, and then select the iOS overview page on the left. This page covers much of what we've already discussed in this video, the default browser being Safari, and how to add WebArcade to the iOS home screen. Next, let's take a look at the iOS Gamepad documentation. This documentation includes a matrix containing compatible gamepads. It also discusses how to disable the capture buttons like we did earlier. Then, it walks through the process to pair each of the controllers listed to iOS devices. Unfortunately, the process can vary greatly between different controller types. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please visit webarcade.com or join the WebArcade GitHub discussions to ask questions or find out about new release features for WebArcade.